It's very ideal for us to use the toy as a, as a metaphor that simulates the design process and constraints. So it kind of brings in the real world, it brings in their ability to design and work in teams and also have an experience that will continue with them when they go out into the real world. We have a lot of workshops on sketching. Engineers hesitate when they are asked to draw. They think they have to be an artist in order to be able to communicate. So what we have done is using finger paints and uh, uh, sketching a face upside down, holding the other person's hand. There are a lot of engineering students that have uh, innate artistic capabilities that has been suppressed uh, over the years because they just haven't had an outlet for it. Before they go into CAD, they make everything, fake it out with cardboard, with foam core, with duct tape. Creativity doesn't happen if they start designing it directly on, on the computer. In fact, computers kill the creativity because once they have done and put a lot of time into the computer models, they don't want to change it. And they are very resistant to go to another idea that may be better. Also designing play value into the toys because these toys have to be played by children and they have to enjoy the experience. So we make them play with various toys. We have like 40 different toys from Lego to Play-Doh to um, everything else. And so they play with these toys and then they start generating their ideas. They take some of their good ideas and combine them in ways that um, will create a very compelling toy that uh, kids can play with. The Toy Museum, we're very lucky to have a space like this where all these beautiful toys are exhibited from the class. This is an R2-D2. It was the very first Arduino controlled toy in the class. Uh, evil Coke can, can be used to chase people and snap at them. At some point, they even had it blow flame out of the mouth. The classic bookworm, uh, it's a book, but also a worm. It actually can crawl like a worm. This is a alarm clock, actually. You have to solve a puzzle to wake up, otherwise it won't shut down. This is a chicken run. You know, it's a social game, three people play, and it's kind of running around, and you can shoot it with a gun. This is Octobob. It's just an octopus um, table companion. It sort of makes interesting uh, noises on the table. This is interesting claw, which you just move your fingers, and you're actually puppeteering all these characters on top. The idea of being able to communicate your ideas becomes a part of your design itself. We need a lot, lot of our students to have that capability of being able to communicate and convince people and sell things to others. And, and it's a part of um, every engineer's uh, toolkit. And if they have that toolkit built, they're going to do very well in their professions. Design element has grown in greater importance and the making element, the tangible feel for things, figuring things out, putting things in place, and making it work. All of this matters. It makes it very exciting for me and for the students because they're getting cutting edge education at Purdue.